This was not the video I originally had planned for today. But after the base running blunders that the New York Yankees had this morning, last night, whatever you want to call it, in their 13 inning game with the Seattle Mariners, I just had to get some thoughts out. So let's get into it. What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Latterman here for the Baseball Fans Broadcast. And the idea of running the bases is not that difficult. You move from one base to the next base without being tagged out to advance until you get home. But seemingly, the Yankees couldn't remember that last night, this morning, whatever. There were four separate outs recorded on the bases in extra innings in a nothing-nothing game between the Mariners and the Yankees. Absolute, incredibly moronic base running blunders. Now, I'm not saying that this team is going to be plagued by these issues for the rest of the season, but we have to get it under control. Now, I am a diehard Yankees fan, and I will believe and bleed pinstripes until they are mathematically eliminated. But what last night showed me was the fact that this team needs certain guys to get back and get healthy. Anthony Rizzo and Giancarlo Stanton were not a part of the lineup. And yes, not everyone is going to find themselves in the situations that certain players found themselves in. But when you see the absolute, unfiltered, nonsensical play of Miguel Andujar getting doubled off, at second base as the extra Manfred man, the ghost runner, when you're taught to freeze on a line drive, he froze, then went towards third to then go back to second. There are absolutely no words to truly describe the enraged feelings that Yankee fans had on Twitter looking at this game, watching this game. It was unbelievable the feelings. It was unbelievable the sentiment that was going around. It was almost as if the Yankees were doing everything in their power to lose that game last night. And ultimately they would. A 1-0 defeat after the bases would be loaded by Jonathan Loisica. Now, this is not to discount the Seattle Mariners at all. They played an incredible game. They matched the Yankees elite stellar bullpen pitch for pitch at bat for at bat and inning for inning ultimately coming away with the victory they played the better brand of baseball and even with the Yankees and their blunders constantly running themselves out of the inning they were right there with the Mariners now is that to say that the Yankees are so much better no because on any given night anyone can beat anyone but when you look at the way that the Yankees were giving away outs, they had so many opportunities to come through and didn't. They had so many opportunities to stay put and they couldn't. This is an opportunity now for the Yankee coaching staff, the front office, to look at their team. This is the team that they have decided to go into the postseason with because trades are done. This is your squad. And if the Yankees falter in the postseason for these same type of base running blunders, there's going to be heads rolling in New York. I think that there's a lot to be expected of this team, especially with the start that they got off to. Now here we are into the second stretch of underperforming and underwhelming baseball by the New York Yankees. Were they going to still be that team with that 700 winning percentage all season long? No. If that were possible, the 98 Yankees would have accomplished that feat. When you look at what this squad is capable of, however, they should be much better than what they are. These last several games have shown the New York Yankees are almost finding new ways to win each and every night. Those close games that they would find ways to win in the beginning of the season, they're now finding ways to lose. Yes, everyone is trying to seemingly do a little bit too much and relaxing and passing it down to the next man up is going to be an opportunity for the Yankees to get back to those winning ways. But until that happens, we have to deal with 
boneheaded plays like what we would see last night from several different players. It wasn't just one. And if the Yankees don't get this squared out, don't get this shaped up, this is going to be a very difficult postseason run for them in 2022. Now the Yankees are going to be a team that absolutely will make the postseason. The Yankees lead in the East is a comfortable one for now. So I do believe the Yankees will make the postseason. However, if we find ourselves performing in the postseason like we did last night in a very competitive, very well played game, the Yankees will be eliminated from the postseason rather early and won't with this particular team, with the start that they got off to, win the World Series, which is ultimately the goal. So these were just a couple of thoughts that I just needed to get out. The Yankees have to be better on the bases in order to succeed in the postseason. You can't run yourself out of outs because they're so precious and so few when it comes to postseason baseball. Every minuscule minor infraction becomes magnified on the grand stage of the postseason. And if the Yankees are going to be the team that they expected themselves to be this year, the team that we thought they were at the beginning of the year when they had a 700 winning percentage, they have to get better at running the bases. But I want to hear your thoughts, Yankee fans. Let me know your feelings, your fears, your hopes, your prayers for this team. Let me know those down in the comments or find me over on Twitter at jlatico 19 to keep the conversation rolling. As always, keep it locked into the entire JLMG family with WeSips and the Granite Geek Show by hitting that red subscribe button down below. For sticking around to this point, head over to BaseballBanterBroadcast.com. Use the promo code BANTER to save 5% off your order. And keep it locked in all season as we continue to look at the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball.